<laughs> okay. Whoa. So, um, hi, I'm Rick Minnick. I'm an American documentary filmmaker living in Berlin, Germany. And today I'm coming to you from the Arctic Ocean in Utkiakvik, Alaska, also known as Barrow. I think I slaughtered the pronunciation. But anyway, I'm here um, on an exciting expedition called Arc Spin and with all these uh, atmospheric scientists from Colorado State University who are researching something about thawing permafrost and I'm trying to figure out what it's all about. So why don't I turn it over to you, Jesse. Hi everyone. I'll get behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Dr. Jesse Cremian and I am the leader of this expedition called Arcspin and what we're here to study is permafrost. And so permafrost is soil that's not only been frozen for at least two years, but with climate change and a warmer temperatures in the air, it's causing the stuff to thaw. And so there are things like greenhouses coming from these frozen soils that are thawing. And what we're here to study is how microbes from frozen soils that are thawing can make it into the lakes and the rivers, the Arctic Ocean, and then ultimately the atmosphere. And so we're here to really study why these things could affect weather and climate and how clouds form in this area. Because we have never looked at this before, nor has anyone else, and so this is a really new area of research. Oh yeah, and we're going to hand it off to our team here. So this is the Arxman team, and take it away, Marina. All right. Hello, I'm Dr. Marina Nieto Caballero, and I'm a postdoctoral researcher. My expertise is in DNA, so my work is going to focus on understanding what microorganisms are in different samples coming from permafrost, ocean, rivers, lakes, or the air. Hi, I'm Kevin. I am a graduate student and I'm going to be focusing on how we can best sample these microbes and particles in the water. So we're going to go out and sample these from the regional lakes here. Oh, hi, my name is Tom Hill and my role is to, I think, find out what they are. Are they bacteria or viruses or tiny bits of plants left over from ancient times? We don't know what they are. So what can we expect for the next uh, five, six weeks? Adventure. Mud. <laughs> Lots of mud. Lots of mud. We're mm. going to be heading out into the tundra every day with our boots, our waders, our foldable kayak, our big coring equipment to collect soil samples and hopefully learn something new about this area and how permafrost that's thawing can affect polar region weather. So that's where I come back in. I'm going to be uh, filming all these adventures and um, I'm really encouraging you to subscribe to Patreon because we'll give you like the inside scoop behind the scenes type stuff of what's going on here. We'll be posting on other uh, social media platforms and stuff too, but if you really want the inside scoop, um, subscribe, become a Patreon subscriber, and uh, we'll give you even more stuff. So, um, yeah, join us on our adventure. Thanks. Bye.